everyone, Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. Today, if it doesn't rain, I've come out three times now and it's rained. I'm going to show you how to plant a tomato in a container and why you should not plant it alone. So the first thing I'm going to do, even though this is really good soil, it's from last year, I'm going to add a little compost. You really want to feed this. I mean, tomatoes are from the tropics, basically, and they don't like tons of water, but they do like really nice soil. And in a pot, it's really important because this is a black pot, it's going to bake, and a lot of the nutrients get leached away because you have to water it more than as if it was in the ground. But um, the reason I'm planting this particular one is right here because it's how I get into my house. So when I come in from the car, I always love grabbing a pepper or a tomato. And that's something else. You can mix tomatoes and peppers together if you wanted to. Okay, that's, this is great soil. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I have this expert gardener, tomato and vegetable garden. I'm going to plant um, flowers in here, but this isn't going to hurt them. You know, I could add some more fertilizer for them. that's about it so you basically work it in don't go too deep because what happens is if you put it too deep it's going to wash straight out so I even sprinkle a little on top every now and then I top feed it okay now these are bamboo stakes that I grow myself, and I leave these little branches on. The reason being is tomatoes love to vine, so they're going to go up here and grab everything. Okay, this is a tomato that we did in a video. Do you remember how tiny it was? It was like this, this tiny, and it's already, the roots are already coming out. This is going to make a mess. Wow. Okay, before, in the other video, and check out the video, I'll link it. It's about growing tomatoes and did you know, these roots, because I started a really low, are everywhere. Right. You take some of the soil out. When you plant a tomato, make sure it's either level with the soil or a little deeper. I had already planted this one pretty deep last time. I'm going to have to take some of this out. already got tomatoes on it. So I'm going to push it in here and I will tie it later on. Yeah, that looks great. This tomato will produce all summer. It's already producing. Now, as it grows, I'm going to break off some of these lower branches. The reason being is 
I don't want any insects in there. If there's airflow, it helps. The other thing is, let's talk about um, companion planting. It's really important for the health of this tomato. That's what we care about, this tomato. So if you get a miracle, they actually keep the nematodes away. So you don't have any problems with that. So if you just plant one by the roots, it wants it by the root. It's doing very well. So if I keep these branches away, this will fill out right here. The other thing is, who would think that putting a marigold in would help? But a marigold helps with the tomato worm. And everybody gets a tomato worm sooner or later. It's like, it's really annoying. But, oops. Okay, all my stuff is ready to go in the ground, but it's rained or else it's too cold. Or... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two colors because I'm going to plant in these containers some Dalas, which I think are, are great color combinations because you want it to look nice too, and a couple oriental lilies which will bring the smells in when you come in although a tomato i love the smell of a tomato remember those come from the trichomes the hair from the tomato you always know when you're buying it okay so i'm going to put that purple one here a pink one here and what will happen is these are going to splash over this container. So, and also the petunia brings some great um, pollinators. I mean, there's a lot of pollinators that just love these. And this will look really cute. Now, I am also going to plant basil right in the back here so going all the way around tomato there is a barrier from pest my basil's not ready it's too small when it gets bigger i'm just going to put it in here now just a quick fun fact out of the marigold the petunia and the basil what is out of the same family as the tomato yep it's the petunia. The tomato and the petunia are both out of the nightshade family. But all of these work out well. Now, you might want to put a thin coat of cedar mulch. Cedar keeps more pests away. So always do that. But um, that's it. It was simple. I made it before the rain again. And tomorrow I'm going to do a video on container planting with um, eggplants. Have a great day and please subscribe, like, and share. Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm.